In column A on my worksheet, I have a staff list imported from another program and I need to extract some information from it. I could perhaps use flash fill or text to columns, but sometimes the thing you want to extract is not so easily found and perhaps there isn't a pattern for flash fill to find. So I'm going to try the text after function. I'll start by writing the formula myself equals text after open bracket select the cell that contains the text string to extract data from which in this case is a2 followed by a comma I need to enter the delimiter which is the character or string that marks the point after which to extract data from in this case it's a comma and that needs to be enclosed in speech marks. Yours might be a space, a semicolon, or perhaps a specific character. Close the bracket and enter on my keyboard. By default, anything after the first delimiter found in the cell has been extracted. Now I'll create the function again, but this time using the insert function. So from insert function, I'll search for text after and then OK. And now in the functions dialog box, you'll find there are six possible things to enter. The first two are required and the next four are optional. So where do I want to extract data from? Cell A3. My delimiter is going to be a comma. And this time I'm going to set it from the second comma. Then just OK or enter on my keyboard. This time I've got everything after the second comma. I'll edit this function using the insert function and I'll change the third box to minus one. If you enter a negative number, the data will be extracted from the end of the string. So it's looked at the last delimiter and brought what's after that. I'll edit the function again and briefly go through the other options. Match mode lets you set the search to whether it's case sensitive or not. Zero means case sensitive and one sets case insensitive. The default is case sensitive. The fifth option, treats the end of the text as a delimiter. By default, they're not matched. Enter zero to not match or enter one to match. The sixth option gives you the chance to set what to return if the delimiter is not found. The default is NA, I'll enter the text error. Now I'll force an error to test it. As there are only three commas, it shouldn't be able to find a fourth one. And here's my error. I'll double click on top of the function and give it a little tweak. I'll change the instance number to 2 and enter. I'll fill it down to the bottom and there you go. Why not give this function a go and maybe try out text before, which is just as it sounds. It helps you extract data before a delimiter in the same way as text after extracts data after a delimiter. Excellent.